Hey everyone, this is your daily dose of medicine. Today we will talk about zinc. And inside of the video, we will talk about the deficiency, the signs and symptoms of deficiency, the foods you can take, zinc, and the other effects of zinc. So stay tuned till the end of the video and let's get into it. The human body cannot store zinc reserves, so deficiency can arise relatively quickly and it is known to be essential component for our body. It is helping to DNA repair. It is part of essential enzymes and several proteins. And in humans, zinc deficiency is caused by reduced dietary intake, inadequate absorption, increased loss, or increased body system use. We will talk about each of them. So the most common cause is reduced dietary intake. In the United States, the recommended dietary allowance is 8 mg per day for women and 11 mg per day for men. And zinc does many things in the body. It is a mineral that your body uses for fighting off infections and producing cells. And it's helpful for boosting immune function. It's helping cells to the divide. It is maintaining the sense of smell and taste. It is promoting wound healing. Also, vitamin C is helpful for that. And it is also supporting person's growth and development. As such, it is an essential mineral for pregnant women as well as growing children. And signs and symptoms of zinc deficiency could be on the skin. It could be acne, eczema, cirrhosis, which means dry or scaling skin, seborrheic dermatitis or alopecia. Alopecia is thin and sparse hair. And severe zinc deficiency may disturb the sense of smell and taste. We said that zinc deficiency can cause alopecia. It could cause hair loss. So if you are losing hair, you should check your zinc levels. And zinc deficiency contributes to an increased incidence and severity of diarrhea. And we can see appetite loss. Also, unexplained weight loss could be another symptom. And low plasma zinc levels have been alleged to be associated with many psychological disorders. And zinc is required to produce testosterone. Thus, zinc deficiency can lead to reduced circulating testosterone. And thus, we can see decreased libido or decreased sex drive. And nowadays, this is one of the most important things inside of our life, immune system. Hence, zinc deficiency results in a decrease in the number of T and B lymphocytes. T and B lymphocytes are important part of our immune system. And that will lead to increased susceptibility to infection and weakening of the body's defenses. And in one study, a significant inhibition of T-cell production was shown in zinc-deficient mice, which was reversed following zinc supplementation. So, worldwide, about 1.1 billion people are zinc-deficient due to inadequate dietary intakes, according to an article published by journal Scientific Reports. And another cause of zinc deficiency is inadequate absorption. And that can be caused by acrodermatitis and torpatica. This is a disease which is inherited. Inherited means genetic. And in this disorder, we are seeing deficiency of the zinc carrier protein, ZIP4. And that results in inadequate zinc absorption. And... The symptoms would be growth retardation, severe diarrhea, hair loss, skin rash. Skin rash is commonly seen on genitalia and mouth. 
an opportunistic candidiasis, which is a fungus and other bacterial infections. And we can see zinc deficiency in people with chronic conditions such as alcohol addiction, cancer, celiac disease, chronic diarrhea, chronic liver disease, Crohn's disease, and diabetes can cause zinc deficiency. And the people at the highest risk of zinc deficiency in the United States are infants who are breastfeeding and older adults. And pregnant women need more zinc than usual because the zinc in their body is needed to help the developing the baby, developing baby. So we said that zinc is helpful for growth and pregnant women need more zinc. And diagnosis of zinc deficiency can be done by looking at blood tests, urine tests, or hair analysis. And at any levels below 70 considered as zinc deficiency. Yeah, we are talking about blood tests right now. And zinc deficiency could be also associated with low alkaline phosphatase since it acts as a cofactor for this enzyme. And let's talk about the foods you can take, zinc. Oysters could be a good source, beef chuck rolls, fortified breakfast cereals, baked beans, yogurt, feed germ, and wild rice. And you can also treat your zinc deficiency right away with supplements. Before using the supplements, please talk with your doctor and uh, because zinc can interact with other medications such as antibiotics, arthritis medications, and diuretics. Just as there are problems with zinc deficiency, a person can also take in too much zinc. Too much zinc intake can cause symptoms that range from nausea and vomiting to impaired immune system function. So we said that optimal dose of zinc is helpful for our immune system, but too much zinc intake can impair our immune system. For this reason, adults older than age 19 should not take more than 40 milligrams of zinc per day. So at the beginning of the video, we said that recommended dose is 8 milligrams per day for women, 11 milligrams per Per day for males. Excess zinc, we said that excess zinc is dangerous to your immune system. In high doses, it may exert immune suppressive effect by inhibiting lymphocyte function and interferon gamma production. And you can find the links on the description. I will be sharing the studies. Lastly, the last sentences would be supplementation and an optimal intake of zinc restore the normal immune response and reduce the risk of infection and that is the end of the video if you find it helpful please consider liking commenting and sharing with your friends take care